sports, I'm Dale Golling. Well, the recent Paralympics, one sport for me stood out a mile. That was wheelchair basketball. It was a quite stunning, exciting sport. I think it took the public's attention. My guest this evening, Steve Hillman. Good evening, Steve. Good Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Now, Thank tell you. me all about this. Uh, OK, we've got a uh, basketball club here that train on a Thursday evening, um, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. And as you can see, they're in action down below. We're still waiting for a few more to turn up. Uh, we've got a, a kind of 15-strong team at the moment. At the moment, we do play tournament only, but hopefully next season we're going to go into the development league. How many members do you have? Up to 16, 18 members. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, not all of them can make the, the training night each week, every week. So uh, we get roughly 12 people a week. So general members of the public can play this? Absolutely. You don't have to have a disability to play wheelchair basketball, uh, which is the beauty of it and why it's so inclusive. Yeah, what excited, I presume, most of the nation is me was the intensity, the viciousness, really, of it. It was really headbanging stuff, wasn't it? It was. A, a, for a non-impact sport, really, <laughs> it's, um, it's not like that. No. Um, there is impact. If it's kind of deemed in the kind of gameplay, then it's sort of overlooked. But if it's malicious or... Uh, unsportsmanlike, then it's pulled up. Give me a general resume of how it's actually played. What are the iffy rules? Uh, the rules are exactly the same almost as running game. Okay, right. uh, You can double dribble, uh, you can travel, um, you can cause personal fouls, etc. So the only real difference is the travelling rule. Um, to move across the court or around the court, you're allowed two push pushes on your wheels before one bounce of the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, any, any more pushes on the wheel than that, it's a travel and it's a foul and the ball goes to the team. Where did this actually come from? Where does it actually originate, the idea? Uh, the idea originated back in the day of um, the, the very beginnings of the Paralympics. Uh, it was a, a rehabilitation sport for ex-servicemen and um, they, they enjoyed it immensely and, and it's basically grown from right back in the 40s until now and, and the, the present day we see it obviously in, in the Paralympics and the, the standard of the play is what professional. Mm, yeah well it's very impressive. Do you have a website? We don't at the moment but you can access all the information on the Cornwall Sports Partnership website which is www.cornwallsportspartnership.co.uk. Steve Hillman thank you very much indeed sir. Thank you Dale. Thank you.